Well, today we're going to um, pick up some food from Saroyan Elementary School. And then from there, we're also going to go to Polk Elementary School and pick up some um, food from there. And then we're going to go deliver it to St. Rest and drop it off there. So that would be our route for today. You know, I, I think the best way to succinctly describe what Food to Share does is it connects people and organizations that have excess food that otherwise might be thrown away with people and organizations that could use that nutritious food to become healthy and prosperous. Well, I think a lot of it is the organization and the volunteers. I think that's, that's a big thing. And also building that bridge with, uh, with the food bank. Um, those are some things I can't do, and some of the other ministries that are uh, nonprofits around here, I haven't been able to get that same sort of help. And the idea is, let's start by not wasting food. Let's start by connecting these co-benefits, you know, like renewable energy production and, and, and reducing uh, greenhouse gases and climate change, and combine that with things like feeding people and, and stop wasting. About 40% of the food that goes to market gets thrown away. And the majority of that, it's thrown away for different kinds of reasons, but it's still edible, it's totally healthy, totally good to go. And so we're trying to recover that food before it goes into a landfill and redistribute it. Now when it goes into the landfill and it rots and decays underground, what it releases, part of its byproduct, is methane gas, which is a really bad greenhouse gas. And here in the valley, uh, we really need to be paying attention to our air quality. So not only by redistributing this food are we getting it into bellies of folks that need it, we're also decreasing the amount of uh, methane that's going into our environment. Uh, my name is Cynthia Casada. I'm a senior at Fresno State. I'm a sociology major. One of my professors told me, um, Sounds like this will be right up your alley. You're into food insecurity um, and working with this neighborhood. And he suggested this project for me. When I was growing up, um, we benefited from the Community Food Bank. So we went to get food ourselves growing up. So this is my way of sort of giving back, um, helping out, um, putting food in bags. I just don't have the extra money. And with the disabilities I have, grocery shopping is particularly difficult for me. So if I come here and have food in my fridge and food in my freezer, I know that I'm not gonna go hungry. So it's, it's very important to me. I worry about like days that it rains and I can't get to food banks and that's why food that I have, a portion of it has to go and be cut up and put in the freezer for days that it rains and I can't come. So I don't know what I would do if these programs were to be cut. All the work that's being done now still leaves a deficit each year of maybe 25 million pounds. That's why this is important. If we could solve that, let's think about what that might produce. We'd have kids who have the nutrition they need to be cognitively able to thrive at school and learn. And if they're able to have that cognitive development and, and, and be healthy in their bodies, they're gonna be contributors to the next economy. And if they don't, they're not gonna necessarily be competitive, right? So nutrition, especially in our poor neighborhoods, is critical to making sure more people are included in a healthy economy in the future. So many people here, uh... They uh, suffer from food insecurity. The, uh, the job situation for a lot of the families here is uh, pretty bleak. And what we want to do is to make sure that nobody goes hungry. As long as the church is in the community, we want to be able to reach out to them and let them know that we are here to help address those needs. And um, our partnership with uh, Food to Share has really helped us with that. Thousands of people are being fed. This makes me so excited when I can actually give them something that's good, healthy, and it's going to last for a while. It makes my job a whole lot easier. I can do what I love to do, take care of people. Fresno has value and possibility, and I just really want to you know, have Fresno to live up to its potential. And I think programs like this that bring people together and solve problems, and that's the essence of this, right? Bringing different people and institutions and organizations together to solve problems can make a difference in our, in our democracy not just in Fresno. So sign up to be a volunteer for Food to Share. It's really rewarding. There's lots of great people. And every time you go out, we're moving hundreds of pounds of food from things that might be wasted to, to people getting stuff to eat.